Hey guys, so um, this is kind of like a, a different review here, like uh, Marvel Select stuff. Um, I don't really collect a whole lot of this stuff, but um, this is one in particular that I was you know, interested in getting. Um, so I do have like the Build-A-Figure Watcher, the What If Wave to compare this to. Um, but like I kind of like this one too because this is more of like a classic comic look. Um, so in the package is pretty straightforward. I don't, I don't think I see as far as texture wise as like maybe a stand in here. And um, I believe this is like a re-release that they had done. Um, what was it? Quite a few years ago. I know like Marvel Slate's been trying to re-release like I know they did like the Juggernaut. They did like Immortal Hulk, you know, some other ones too. Um, I really like Marvel Select, but I um, always lean towards Legends. But, um, you know, quality-wise, Ethel and everything, Select's definitely still there. Um, so, um, as far as packaging goes, we just have some artwork here. It's kind of crazy looking. This is like a kind of a close-up of a creepy alien. Which I mean is the watcher, so it kind of <laughs> makes sense. Um, and then here on the back, we have just like a picture of him, um, kind of on his stand and watching, I guess you could say. Um, on the other side, not much here. Um, and throughout the bag, you can kind of see, you know, classic pictures in the package. And like here, I get this kind of closer. Uh, excuse me. This is like from when the Fantastic Four 48, 49, or 50. I can't remember, but it's like these. It was like a two or three comic book series where, you know, we got introduced to the Watcher, Silver Surfer, Galactus, all one shot, which is, you know, a really crazy uh, set there. Um, so I like that. I like that they kind of put that stuff there. Unfortunately, this packaging is not correct collector friendly so you basically have to rip this bubble off of there so it's basically trash afterwards which kind of sucks so but you know i still want to open this up get it in hand and do like in comparison of like the build a figure i'll watch what i got too so anyways i'm gonna do that and i'll be right back Alrighty, um so i got him out of the package and um um I really like it, but it's like, uh, it's very limited articulation. So with the arms, you kind of get like the shoulder raised band, uh, like a bicep swivel, um, elbow in and out, and then like a wrist thing. And his hands are just kind of stuck in this position here. So, um, same thing with this arm. With the head though, um, it just spins around. So there's... I try to get it to look up a little bit, but I kind of heard something. I don't know. So I was like, okay, so I guess I don't do that. Um, and the legs are kind of, I don't think they move at all. Yeah, there's no articulation at all. Like I don't see like thigh cuts or anything. So um, yeah, it's just pretty much, a, it's just a watching. I mean, one thing good about those, he stands really well, and then you got the stand here that can kind of help as well. Um, the stand itself is just, it looks like a chunk of the moon or something. It does have pegs here for your feet, so that's all good. It is kind of hollow. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to wonder if they like have like the original copyright on this. So, in China, I don't see the year on or anything like that. I mean, every while it's like really, really cool looking. Um, this, I don't know, this is like more of a coarse plastic, and this head is like a little smoother. It almost feels like a, a baby doll, like kind of hollow. Feels like it's a little squishy, but not much. Um, and his cape is kind of attached here to this, or whatever you call this, the sash, I guess you could say, it's like glued here and then it's glued here back on the cape. And then the cape is just kind of attached to his body. So it's like put in there, here on the shoulders. Um, this part's kind of bendable too. 
Uh, another thing too is like um, <clears throat> when you have a cape in there, kind of like Marvel Legends do, where they have like a plastic piece that kind of separates the cape from the body. And since I'm stirring up, I just ripped it in half and pulled it out that way. Um, so if we get them on the stand, let's see how that looks. And you gotta kind of widen his stance a little bit to get them on there. So the legs have like a little flexibility, but they're not really articulated. And there you go. Um, he did also do come with this uh, pamphlet, which Marvel Select stuff usually does. Just kind of gives you an overview of some of the stuff they got. So, um, so this is the Mortal Hulk that like they um, re-released. Um, I've had the same in here too, and I remember it was pretty cool, but like these little spikes and stuff are like looking hard. <laughs> I know about stab your hand when you're trying to put them on there, so. And some other stuff here on the back too, so. Um, so, next thing I want to do is actually get the, um, the Build-A-Figure Watcher and just kind of compare those two. All right, so um, this one here is like the what if way they came out. Um, maybe near the end of last year or something like that, or um, build a figure or whatnot. Um, it's hard for me to tell like which one I like better. Like, I don't know, like, I mean, this one has a little, a little bit more articulation to it. And I like the, that they kind of add a little bit more to it. I mean, the arms are about the same. The head does kind of have like a rise to it. Um, legs have articulation in there. I don't know if you can see, but like it's kind of, you know, it has a little bit more, but there's not really much you can do. This figure stands great. Like I've never had this figure fall over at all. I imagine this one won't either. Um, to be honest, I would probably go with this one over that one. And the main reason is because like this one, there's some things I always had like, um, I don't know, I kind of like the, kind of like the updated look to it. Um, you know, the one thing that gets me about this one is like the head doesn't, it doesn't really, it just kind of spins around. Like I wish they kind of made it where it would, you know, raise his head and look. Like this one here, you can have it look up, look down. You know, it has a little bit more articulation to it, so I do like that. I think that's, you know, really good. Um, you know, having two is really cool, too, though. I mean, they both kind of have their own thing. Okay, that's the first thing <laughs> things ever falling over, I swear. And I bet the second time's going to happen here soon, too. Um, I mean, both figures, I'd have to give, like, probably an eight... You know, like, this isn't, like, this is, you know, obviously, like, a, a key figure, but it's not, like, a must-have figure. So, you know, you can live without it. Um, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. I mean, this feels like these are, like, the only two figures that we've had as far as watchers go. Um, both really cool, but, like, you know, I... I kind of would like one like this that's kind of in the same spec as that with that articulation. So, um, yeah, uh, pretty much covers it. And thank you for watching.